and this is how the system looks like uh, we have a provision where you need to download a request form which should be signed off uh, by the school administrators by the, uh, the head teacher nominating two uh, representatives to be able to uh, capture the candidates data on the system is how the form looks like up here we we shall expect you to fill the unep center name and then the unep center number that is for the center that you are representing uh, this is supposed to be filled by by the head teachers so you will nominate two representatives by providing for us the details about each representative ensure that we shall have a, a smooth communication with the representatives and also be able to send uh, notifications both on email and SMS. And then you will be expected to tick against each permission uh, that should be granted to each representative because we have two provisions we have using the online system and also using an offline which is the, uh, the excel sheet that's why we have a separate permission for uploading. Then we have a provision to generate a payment reference number, what we are calling as PRN. If the representative has uh, or needs to be given a permission to generate a payment reference number, you tick against that. If they can be able to make any edits to the forms that have been captured, uh, because we also allow for edits once the data has been saved once, at the end of the process, we have a provision to download acknowledgement form, which usually uh, is filled manually. But this, this time, it is coming from the system. It will be pre-filled with the candidates' names and the choices that they have uh, selected. Then at the bottom, uh, it should be signed off by the head teacher for reference purposes. Uh, we expect the name the head teacher or a representative and then the telephone and email the signature the date uh, and then the stamp we have provisions of submitting this this document back to Makere University one you can present a hard copy to Senate building Makere University room 302 or you can scan a stamped copy and send it via our support email which is pujab.mark sorry pujab.support at mark.ac.ug we are going to create your account or accounts for the representative that are provided here and they are going to receive both email and sms notifications confirming uh, access to the system uh, i've just picked a random center which is Caltech Academy Makerere with a center number U0178. And once, uh, this is a copy of uh, email sent to me as a representative of this center, indicating to me that uh, I have been granted access on the online Pujab application portal. And for me to log in, I will need to use a username, which is either my email or my phone number and a one-time password which is usually the phone number so the phone number acts as a one-time password and once you log in you'll be expected to change that password to something you know and can easily remember and also uh, cannot be compromised and now click here to log in and the system will redirect you to this portal with, with my email and then the password is a telephone number that was sent to my email. Yes, which is that one. So when I log in, the system is going to redirect me to uh, this interface where I'm requested or required to change my default password. Put a password that you can easily remember. And you need to confirm by re-entering the password that you have entered up here.
and then you click the application Change. guide which is basically uh, a pdf which you can read through it's about 17 pages uh, guiding you on how uh, to use the online application uh, then, system. we have a tab for running admission this is where the scheme is running so uh, for the purpose of presentation we opened this scheme yesterday. the system is going to show the application fee per candidate which is 52,000 the start date of the application process which we, we started on 1st of October 2024 and when it is ending which is 30 1st of December 2024 for demonstration purposes and these dates may change and the academic year under which you're going to apply which is 2025 2026 and we also give a brief um, on eligibility of the candidates that you're going to capture on the system.